From Headquarters, United States Army Reserve Command at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, this is the USAC Report. I'm First Lieutenant Amy Crane. What do you want to be when you grow up? This is a familiar question for elementary school children and a question that USARC soldiers recently had the chance to provide answers to during the second annual career day at New Century International Elementary School in Fayetteville, North Carolina. These soldiers shared their Army experiences and the children were eager to listen and ask questions. Though the day was designed to inform the children about career options, many of the soldiers stated that they got more out of the day than the children. With the drawdown of forces, there are many questions about how reductions will happen and what effect it will have. One of these initiatives, the Release from Active Duty Board, is being used to help better shape the force for the future. Colonel Lynn Owens, Army Reserve Command G1, explains. We have to be careful when we talk about our REFRAD board, and REFRAD stands for Release from Active Duty, because at the same time we're having a REFRAD board, the active component is having what they call the CERB board, but that's because they're drawing down. We as a force are not drawing down, but we are trying to shape our force. So uh, in 2010, the Army Reserve decided we wanted to make some change in how we manage our officer force. So we went to the Sec Assistant Secretary of the Army for Manpower and Reserve Affairs and asked for the authority to do a couple of things. One was to manage our officers to manage removal date because prior to that our officers were separated when they reached 20 years active federal service. And we also asked to have our AGR officers and our non-AGR officers considered for promotion in separate uh, competitive categories. And we did that, we said okay, what's going to happen if, if these officers, now that they can stay to manage removal day, if, if everybody chooses to do that? We need to have some sort of forcing mechanism that incentivizes officers to maybe retire or to continue to take, uh, take hard jobs. And that initiative is the REFRAD board. So we went to ASMRA and got the authority to conduct a REFRAD board. And that REFRAD board allows us to shape the population and it allows for us to separate officers at a particular grade so that junior officers have room to move up. And for this year's board, we'll be considering uh, lieutenant colonels and colonels. Officers can stay in the AGR program nine months after the uh, Chief Army Reserve signs uh, results of the board. And I, let me clarify one thing. We call this a uh, um, REFRAD board because we say you're going to be released from active duty. Officers will have the option to either retire or release from active duty. And I point that out because if, if you choose, if an officer chooses to be released from active duty, they can still go into the TPU, IR, IMA and continue to serve. Truly getting to know soldiers on a personal level is more important than ever in today's Army. Brigadier General Tammy Smith, Army Reserve Human Capital Corps Enterprise, talks about the importance of getting involved in the lives of the people around you and showing them that you genuinely care. What I would like leaders to improve on is to go from the concept of caring to actually caring. I know that I have, even within my own organization, I've challenged um, the, the people that I work with is that here we are in human capital, we're writing policy about how we need to improve how we interact with our soldiers and that we need to have first line leaders engaged and we need to do all of these things that are human interaction and at the same time, you don't speak to the person in the cube next to you. You don't know that somebody in your own section had a person graduate from college in their family or that they had an accident in their family and, and they're having a hard time. We talk from a program perspective and, and we put our, our emphasis behind that we've got to have a program where people care, but real caring starts person to person. And I think what leaders have to do is they actually have to not only talk it, they have to demonstrate it. And you demonstrating that by taking the time to stop, look a soldier, look a civilian in the eye, ask them how they're doing, and be sincerely interested in the answer that they give. And that will do it for this episode of the USARC Report. Thanks for watching.